cooler lines out of the way a little bit. That's about right. Go ahead and get a bolt started. Maybe I'll put some anti C's on that. Stay tuned. Good old anti seeds. This makes it go in so much easier. This one is going to be a little bit of a fair to get started, but we got it. Uh, I don't need this long extension. Just the ratchet. Well, I am back to where I started. Let me see. It goes just like that. There is the clamp that I dropped earlier. And the upper part. And of course this goes right there. Oops, don't forget the clamp. I like to use a ratchet in a socket rather than a screwdriver on the clamps because especially when you get in a tight area, the screwdriver will slip off of the clamp versus the ratchet you can just keep going until you get the clamp tight. Would be good enough. All right. Cooler lines and lower hose, and we're done. Uh, I got a clamp here somewhere. There we go. Go ahead and take care of this lower hose first. That's going to be the job. I'm afraid. Maybe not.
Now, I have a stupid AC line in the way. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just a little bit of coating of any C's around the outside part of the line. And a little bit of Teflon to the fitting itself. so the line itself doesn't freeze to the fitting and that the fitting seals inside the joint. Well, okay, the radiator is in and you look way down in there. That is the hose clamp that was giving me such a hard time earlier. And I think I've got it. it yeah. Well, we will find out anyway. And, of course, in the instructions, let me uh, set the camera down once again. It says, you know, reconnect hoses. Your cooling system was holding used coolant. After a new radiator has been installed, your entire cooling system needs to be flushed with proper chemicals. And I have Prestone Super Flush. I've used this before. I've had good luck out of it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and flush it. And we're going to fill it and check for leaks. Well, I've got it full. Uh, but, I'm running out of room on a stupid card. Okay. Well, but I really can't tell how much is in there or not because the crap phoned all over the place. Set this here for the time being. But I don't think it has any leaks. Oh yeah, and I have a brand new radiator cap that I will also install. But for the flush, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one on. So I'm gonna start it, and we're gonna see what happens. Maybe hopefully, there's no lines leaking, like transmission lines. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't need air conditioning. Contact! needs to run press deposits blah 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 directions with engine off and cool remove radiator cap we've already done all that blah blah blah, blah. Uh, run engine with heater on highest temperature for 10 minutes after reading oh okay so about 10 minutes after the thermostat opens that's doable That'll give me time to get a different memory card. But first, we're going to turn the heat on. Be back shortly.